Hello, Julie Gorsi coming to you today with my monthly market wrap and what a wet one it has been. Absolutely shocking. So things are faring okay for us down here on the coast. Probably the worst thing would be the conditions of the road. Um, the amount of people I've seen pulled over on the side of the road with a pop tire. Um, the potholes are really something else. So if you are traveling down, do take it easy, be very careful. Forest Road is open again, so that's provided some relief, particularly for people in the Kararong and Kalala areas. So a bit of a dampener on the real estate market as well in that we are seeing a change. It's come off. And so how we know that is because we haven't actually seen the prices adjust just yet, but some of the things that we're seeing is buyer behavior has certainly changed. And by that I mean, Email inquiries, we've gone from receiving anywhere from say, you know, 70 to 100 email inquiries per day to at the moment we might be getting between five and 10 email inquiries per day. Also our open for inspection attendees, we've gone from sort of averaging around seven to 10 groups per open home to now getting somewhere between, you know, one and three people coming through our open for inspections which then filters down into the number of registered bidders that we will have on each property, which is averaging around one or two for us at the moment. And then that's when we'll start to see the auction clearance rates come off and we're in the midst of that at the moment. So the next thing that we probably will see will be a slight adjustment in the median house price. And it's almost like a bit of a standoff that we're seeing at the moment. We'll have the vendors pricing their property in line with what other recent sales are. So properties comparable to theirs, they'll price it in line with that. But the buyers are actually falling short. And it's not until sellers actually start to understand that and listen to the market and meet the market and sell that we may see a bit of adjustment um, of around five or 10%. And I think we're going through that at this point in time. Some results to tell you about. Number 58 Park Row at Colborough Beach, selling for 750,000. We had 120 King George Street at Kalala Beach, selling for 1,512,000. Also, we've had a really good beachfront sale with 149 The Marina, Colborough Beach, selling for a street record of 4,550,000. I just wanted to touch on the rentals market for a minute. There's no doubt about it, we're absolutely experiencing a housing crisis at the moment. We've got people that are desperate to find a home somewhere to live. And so one of the buy pools that we're really looking forward to seeing come back into the marketplace are our investors. So not holiday makers, not people that are making a sea change or a tree change, but people who are gonna buy a property, looking for that long-term investment, um, the weekly rental. So we are starting to see some of those investors come back to the market, which is good news uh, because we hope that then we'll have some more rental properties available. Just on that, if you did purchase with the view of having your property um, as an Airbnb, and perhaps that's not going as well as you'd first thought. I mean, things are opening up now, so people can travel overseas. You know, you can take a holiday up to the Gold Coast. So it's also coming into a bit of a quieter time of year, typically from the holiday rental aspect here on the coast. Um, it may be worth actually considering moving from Airbnb to permanent rental because the upside to that is it's set and forget and we have many tenants who are pre-qualified who will absolutely look after your home like it was their own. They also won't have parties every weekend and annoy your neighbours, so no complaints. If that's something that you're interested in or, or open to discussing, reach out to me. I'll put you in touch with our expert property managers and they can talk you through that process, let you know what the weekly rental might be and how we can move you from Airbnb to permanent rental. Well, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. See you next month.